Okay, guys. Here's chapter three. And this is part 3A. Okay, so the first thing you need... The first thing, as you can see... The first thing, as you can see, is, um... The first thing, as you can see, um... When you... When you start this chapter, you can see that you're about to go to the diner. So the first thing you need to do is walk to the diner and enter the diner. And then talk to Patrick. And then after you finish talking to Patrick, you can see this lady comes out and then she brings out Sandy's lunch. So you need to talk to her. Because the name of the lady is Stella. So you need to talk to Stella. And then when, while you're still talking to her, like the last thing, a new place opens on the map while you're, when you finish up talking with her. Like I'll show you what I mean. Because the first time that a new place opens on the map in this chapter will be while you're talking to, will be while you're, while you're finishing talking up with Stella. See? We finished talking up with Stella, and you saw the telescope turn gray and blue again, right? That means there's a new place open on the map. So, the first thing you need... So before you click the map, you need to get Sandy's lunch. Like so. And then you click the map, and then as you can see, the new place open on the map in this chapter for the first one is Jellyfish Fields. And then as you can see, there are three patches of, um, there are three patches of, there are three patches, and each patch has three jellyfish. So, and Sandy's on the third patch, by the way. And then the next thing you need to do is give Sandy her lunch. And then after you give Sandy her lunch, then then she goes back to her house to work on the rocket. And then um and then after you talk to Sandy so that she lets you know that she's going to be at her house working on the rocket, you saw the telescope turn gray and blue again, right? That means there's a new place open on the map. So the next thing you need to do is click the map. And then as you can see, the next new place that's open on the map in this chapter is the home lane. And then first you need to go into um, Squidward's house. But first, the first thing we're going to do is... Go into SpongeBob's house because there's something important in here. So, like, um, because in SpongeBob's closet, there's the videotape for this chapter. See? Looks like some sort of videotape. And then you see this TV here? This lets you show, this shows you what stuff you have already unlocked. Because that's one way to do it, and another way to see what you've unlocked for the videos is do menu, like do the treasure chest, then menu, then view movies. Or when you're in chapter three, you could just click the, you could just click the TV. Okay, so, I don't do that. so, um, so then the next thing you need to do is exit SpongeBob's house, but we're going to need to come back in here later. And then now, you need to enter Squidward's house. See, because I wanted to get the videotape first before we went into Squidward's house. So, like, here's another example wall, example wall I'll, where I'll snap. And the same is at the end of the commercial. Come on down to Sardine Sundries. This week, we got a whole bunch of specials that will blow your mind, man. Really choice stuff. Right. I'm nuts. Skilly 
They're shaped like a skull. Wowzers. So come on down to Sardine Sundry, 174 Barnacle Road. We never close because time is at an Okay, so you saw the telescope turn gray and blue again when we finished up watching the TV, right? That means there's a new place open on the map. So, after you finish watching the commercial on Squidward's TV, you'll see a new place, you'll see the telescope turn gray and blue again, and that'll tell you that a new place is open on the map. So, the next thing you need to do after you finish watching this commercial is click the map, you know, after you finish watching, watching the commercial on Squidward's TV, is click the map, and then as you can see, the new place now is sardines but it's actually sardines sundries so so the so the next thing you need to do after you watch the commercial on squidward tv is click the map then then click on um, sardine sundries and then you need to enter sardine sundries and then talk to the owner here which by the way his name is nelson Because you need the dream glasses, and the only way you can get them is is talking to him. Is talking to Nelson. And then after you finish up talking to Nelson, you need to walk back over here. You need to walk back. You need to walk over here because the dream glasses are right here. And then, um, because the dream glasses are right there, you saw where, where they were here. And then, the next thing you need to do is talk to this familiar looking guy. And then after you finish up talking to him, then you need to click the map again, and then go back to the home lane, and then enter Squidward's house again, and this time, go up his stairs, and then use the dream glasses on Squidward, but they actually end up going on you. See what I mean? And then you see SpongeBob's in Squidward's dream, but SpongeBob changed into Squid form, so that he looks like Squidward. And then the next thing you need to do is you see this um built big building? It's actually a pyramid, so you need to walk up this road because um because the next thing you need to do is walk up this road, and then SpongeBob thinks it's some sort of a pyramid. See what I mean? And then the next thing you need to do is walk up these stairs. I'll see if I can get it fast. See like that. And then after you enter the pyramid, then you need to walk down this aisle and then talk to Squidward. Because you need Squidward's clarinet. Because you need Squidward's clarinet because there's a sea snake in Spongebob's water helmet. Did you hear what I said? You need the... See what I said? He said, um, because since there's a sea snake in Spongebob's water helmet... Since, um, since, uh... Since there's a... Sea Snake and Spongebob's water helmet. Spongebob needed the, the dream glasses to go into Squidward's dream. And then you need to walk down that road to like the entrance of the pyramid. And then you need to go into the pyramid and then walk down the aisle and then talk to Squidward. Because you needed Squidward's clarinet because that's the only way to get the sea snake out of Spongebob's water helmet. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is... 
walk back down the stairs and then exit Squidward's house and, th and then go into Spongebob's house and then go to where the water helmet is hold on and then walk to the sitting area and then um and then you need to because you see the sea snake is in Spongebob's water helmet and you need to use the clarinet on the sea snake to get the sea snake out of the water helmet. Like, I'll show you what I mean. See? After the sea snake gets out of the water helmet, this is... A, now is the perfect time to... Now the sea snake left the water helmet. So now you pick up the water helmet, and then after you pick up the water helmet, you'll see the telescope turn gray and blue. Because you saw the telescope turn gray and blue, right? That means there's a new place open on the map, and by the way, that's the last plate, that's the last time you'll see the telescope turn gray and blue to let you know there's a new place open on the map in this chapter. Okay, so the next thing you need to do is click the map, and then you'll see the last place open, and then, which is, um, Sandy's house, and you'll hear me snap again because of the colors. Like, I'll show you what I mean. See? So the next thing you need to do is go to Sandy's house. And then, since she, since Sandy breathes air like you and me, Spongebob can't go into, um, Sandy's tree dome without his water helmet because he can't breathe air. So, so the first thing you need to do, like, I'll show you what I mean for this reason. I can't go to Sandy's without my water helmet. I can't breathe air, you know. See what I mean? Okay, so the next thing you need to do is put SpongeBob's water helmet on SpongeBob and then add to the tree dome like so. I love visiting Sandy in her tree dome. And then the, the oxygen tanks to let you know is you need to walk to this side till you can see a a picnic table that's um that the that the br these three brown um um wood these three brown wood pieces are facing you because the oxygen tanks are behind this picnic table. I found you. See what I mean? And then the next thing you need to do is exit the picnic table and then walk back to Sandy and then talk to Sandy. And then, since we picked up the oxygen tanks before, now we'll enter Sandy's tree dome and then now you need to enter Sandy's tree dome and give her the oxygen tanks. And by the way, since we fit this will finish up the chapter. So, we actually ended up finishing part three. So, it's actually, um, it's actually, a uh, part three. See? When you give her the oxygen takes, that finishes up chapter three. So, instead of 3A, it's going to be named part three. Like, SpongeBob SquarePants Employee of the Month Walkthrough Part 3 instead of Part 3A because we finished up the chapter. And in the next video, we're going to be doing Chapter 4 and the last chapter in the game.